So today I got the results from uh, my scan. I was telling the truth. It's like I'm telling you the truth about all of this. The socialists would rather that you thought I was mad, crazy, a narcissist, grandeur. I was telling the truth. I'm a dancer, I'm a skater, I'm a break dancer. I was playing around in the field in Wrexham when I was about 11 to, uh, what was it? Was it one of the football songs? I can't think what it was. And I flipped over and I landed on my back. I was born with hypermobility EDS, but because of how my mum was treated as a teenage mum, it's looking apparent that I was actually born at St. James's and not St. Mary's. I haven't been able to ask my mum directly because obviously my mum doesn't talk about the first three years of my life, which has been very, very, very difficult for medical history because we haven't been able to get my mum's history with her also being hypermobility EDS for me and my children. And I obviously had a 50-50 chance of passing that condition on to any of my children. As I have told every dick coming my way, don't do it, don't knock me up. I have a 50-50 chance of passing this condition on to our children. Today, I've had the results and I was telling the truth. This, the amount of pain and my nervous system and my vagus nerve, there is actual damage in all of the, the vertebrae down the neck. The one that is protruding, as I've showed you, is completely out all the way down to the base of my spine. While I was a youth worker, I did a safety announcement for children that were going down a water slide and I put my foot on it and I bounced down on my coccyx. While skating, I've had accidents. What happens to somebody like me is usually when you have a laying down scan, it doesn't show the results because you're looking at the gap in between the discs that run down the spine and the vertebrae and you're looking at the nervous system. Every time mental health, the police social, put me into fight and flight over fear of my children being taken and that's not because I am delusional or paranoid. That's because my first baby was removed from my womb and may possibly still be alive. I was told was removed, 26 weeks pregnant or something like that. I was 15. Then they sectioned me with my son because when you are pregnant, you produce more lactaline, which means that the discs in my neck and my back, including my shoulder, my jaw become more subluxed. Nobody has ever given a shit about me to put me back because I'm not an Olympic athlete, because I'm not willing to take it up the arse, because I don't undo my button, because I'm not willing to suck cock. As I, you all know, I became an escort to get through university to study psychology because I was in a wheelchair, braced up, told that I couldn't be a youth worker anymore. I worked for Northern Ireland Forces Youth and Community Service because I had been living in the army military environment. Hence why I understand who MOD is, because I worked for Taylor Plan Cleaning at Cambridge Military Hospital, putting myself through college straight from foster care. I'm a walking fucking miracle. AI, are you gonna like me saying that word or are you gonna censor it? Because it's not about the censorship of speaking so-called French. Enculé petit med, j'habite à Portsmouth, près de Setonville, all that sort of stuff. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize. Yeah? Don't ever say ni hao to a Gurkha, he'll cut your head off. Assalamu alaikum to the Muslims is basically a blessing. This stuff, the geoengineering, how did I know? I am a mother of boys. Do you think a mother like me ever really ever gets to come and sit down at the beach and focus on me? Now, dad's at home, but eventually the phone will start ringing. Where are you? Nah, 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 nah. The boys will be, oh, no, 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 no. They're home ed and they're going to remain home ed. And I have been charged in the courts and the police are going to want to come and parlay me because I have a diagnosis of autism. So if I show any form of distress, they have the right to pin me down and frape me. Grape me. How many police officers do you reckon I had on me at David Cameron's election night? How much damage do you think they caused to my nervous system, to my spine, to my neck, to my shoulders, to my back? Seven police officers wanting to take my cross off. 
You think you all created this, do you? Ah, now, man is trying to play God. Man is trying to intervene with nature. Said Bill Gates. Said Bill Gates, who's not even allowed to be left with interns. Why? Because he's got a penis. He has sexual desires and he can't keep his eyes off. Oh, hang on a minute. While the Olympics was on, how many of you watched the uh, synchronized swimmers, the two, the two girls? How many of you, be if you are a lesbian or even a man or an old man, didn't actually watch their performance, but continued to watch their asses? Those girls were 15. They were 15 and they were being sexualized in front of the entire world. They were a sexual object to the entire world. Because the Lord knows your energy. Even AI, if you're wearing them little ear pads, yeah? They did it to you on purpose. If you're wearing ear pods, of which I don't, yeah? Your brain frequencies and your brain waves are being sent back to the quantum machine. If you don't understand what the quantum machine is or harp or uh, all that sort of stuff, I suggest you go and educate yourselves. I have been bullied, harassed and stalked by people who cannot educate themselves, by people who think they're more superior, who think that they can put themselves above me, who look down on me because I was born at said maybe St. James's or St. Mary's. They'd love to shoot me, do you know that? These people would love to take me out. They'd love to. Do you know that? I'm not talking about just these people. I'm talking about the whole damn world of parliament people, of government people, of people who think that they are kings and queens. Yeah? That's red. Look, it's going after that one because it can see what's going on. Yes? So anyway, it's every boy's fantasy to put a rocket in space. It's nothing more than a penis extension. But they've done it. Richard Branson, he sat there on May 2011 in London at the Excel. Success Resources was the platform and I was part of the team for the crew to look after these people. All you have to do is be the bigger bird. So this is the university, this is your two tier. Yeah, all you gotta do is be the bigger bird. The bigger bird. It's like being a scarecrow. So farmers in fields have scarecrows with their arms out. There's a reason for it. These people think I'm a witch. Do you know what? Even if I was, what right does it give the people to burn women that are naturopaths? So I have the medical evidence that says that my spine is near fused together. And the amount of fear and fight and flight put into me and many others is like needles, like a cat. Have you ever seen a cat when a cat goes up on its claws and all the hair stands on its back? That is a nervous system. That is fight and flight. It's like a rabbit trapped in a headlight. Psychology know it. That's why they are MK altering you. They've tried it with me but I have a degree in psychology. I have worked with some of the greatest coaches. I have worked with some of the greatest hypnotists in life. And I have built up such a tolerance to make sure that I can not be gaslit. And people don't like it because I have something that you lot don't have. Boundaries. And I know my shadow. Do you remember the story Peter Pan? Do you know what your shadow was about? It goes everywhere with me. It belongs to me, stays with me. The only thing that can change my shadow is the sun. And even somebody stepping into that zone. The former self. We live in a world where everybody believes it's about Maslow and the hierarchy of needs, self-actualization. This is what the Freemasons teach. St. James's was a Freemason hospital. That doesn't make me a Freemason. It means that my mum was being held captive. As I have told you, my great grandfather is Sir Lord Pierce. So he would have paid for my father being that my dad's dad, yeah? So my granddad is the son of a Lord. But he's also the son of a maid. 
that make me a mutt? I think it does. So basically, these people don't like that I was meant to be a boy. And I'm not. But I can still take my rightful position as a woman. And the people deserve it. Because I care. I give a shit. This ain't about profit. I don't get paid. Nobody pays me. I don't, in fact, I haven't even got a penny to my freaking name this week. And I don't even know on Friday if I will even have my little bit of pip and my universal credits that I'm forced to be on because I'm told that I will sacrifice my children's needs. Sorry, what was it? Uh, me, my need, put my needs before my children. I've never been able to do so because I've been a mother since I was 17. I only went to university when I was 24. I've got two big boys. Everyone around here, they think I've got two boys. I've got two big boys, 27 and 23. I've got Aaron and Faith who were kidnapped by the state on the 13th of December 2012, told that I was faking the pain in my neck and back. Well, today, finally, after how many years, and it's taken for a lad to set up a practice, to put a scan in there, so I get the upright scan, and I've paid 50 pounds. 1,500 pounds I was quoted to have the scan, and the NHS would rather leave me being battered by the police and social than actually put their heads above the parapet and say, what the frick are you doing? Now, my GP, when I first got here, wrote that letter, but the system needs a letter every damn six months. I was born with it, and I will die from it. Now, if I wish to, I live here, by the way. I live literally the other side of there. I have been in Portsmouth for nine years. I was managed, moved by the police because of the amount of damn bullying from my neighbours. Not only the fact that I was living in a high Muslim area that didn't like me as a white Christian. Because Jesus is. Can't sing yet, but I will be. As soon as my spine's fixed. So there's the discs in my neck are back. So I'm going to be in what you call rehabilitation for the next year. And it's going to pay. I have to pay. I have to pay two sets of money. And I've literally got a really tight schedule of two sessions a week. This is not mental health. This is not mental health. This is a physiological actual injuries and problems. As a result of me being a genetic mutation as you know. So I'm going to literally be looking for all you guys. Yeah? For all the people who are genetic mutated. And I'm coming to find you all so you understand what's wrong with you. And you can move forward with what is right with you. And you can go and do your things that you love. And this system is meant to, you know, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. But he was never put back together again, was he? Because this system has no rehabilitation unless you are a crackhead or a smackhead. And that is about the only thing that they put their money in because they know that these people will never change unless they have Jesus in their heart. So I'm not right, I'm not left. I'm coming right down the center with Jesus Christ and the body of Christ and God's army, the Christian army is taking this country back. And we don't need to fight. We are going to be steadfast, as our Speaker of Parliament told you, because he's from Chorley, where I first ever went out in the media. Now, the Chief Executive has the original article from 2010, prior to the Daily Mail completely smear campaigning me. And we're gonna bring this back to what this is about. When a mother gives birth to a child, she has every right to have her body put back. It takes years. So let's talk about periods. Let's talk about hormones. Let's talk about feelings and emotions. And let's bring this back to emotional intelligence. This shouldn't be about social distancing, but personal boundaries. And then we're gonna teach people personal boundaries and consent trauma they, they they try to play with my trauma okay
in the simulation that we are in. Now, autistic people are gonna bring a case that you can't put your sirens on because I can see every child who doesn't like it. But we love nature. Anyway, these guys are having their lunch. They've got a job to do. They need to mow the lawn. No billionaires swimming today. Uh, Andrew's not here for another bit. Um, well done to who you all know as, um, I only know him as Andrew. Um, Flintoff, I don't know him as anything else. He's taken a bunch of youth over to India and that it's amazing. So anyway, I'm not gonna get sectioned by Portsmouth today because I'm coming to sue them. And if I don't sue them, I'm gonna teach them a lesson. And we're going to have a holistic, because the Swatch thing means holistic, by the way. And we're going to treat people accordingly, rather than putting people in boxes, judging people. Not everybody has faith. Somebody like me, who is constantly moving forward to strive to have a closer personal relationship with the Lord himself, doesn't commit crimes. The only people that do are in the name of Satan himself. But we can't talk about the spiritual battle. We can't talk about the spiritual war. Why? Because then you don't need to go and take all the pharmaceutical drugs. Then you don't need to have all the things done. The only time that the hospitals should ever really be intervening is say, even a broken leg doesn't need to be done the way that it is, by the way. You have a car crash fire brigade are going to cut you out i'm going to say this last thing you all better back our police because our police do not have the authority to go in and save these children these people will shoot them dead please watch the sound of freedom and you tell me how do we get our police in to detain and arrest these people who are running the prisons who are paying for the government, who are paying for the lobbyists. These people are gangsters, so they say. And there is no such thing as a VIP paedophile. Very important paedophile, are you? Well, our police, and we'll bring the whole world's police down on individual minority groups that are trafficking children and they are doing it to our children vulnerably through the foster care service. And I expect every father, every mother to back our police. All corrupt ones will be removed from the side in the name of Jesus. But the real true warriors are going to go through the doors and they are going to rescue these children, women and boys. And we're going to bring our world back to exactly what it is. Men, women, children. There is no such thing as gender, bloody, what do you call it? Non-binary. Non-binary is for your medical records. Somebody like me has a name, an age, a date of birth, a number. I'm still now moving into more than one piece of information. Then there is the autism. Then there is the hypermobility. Now I'm non-binary. Non-binary means more than one piece of data. You are not data. This phone, this is not my avatar. This is me in real life. I am not scripted. I am not in a studio. I am out here in the real world. The birds can come near me. I'm really not bothered about bird flu. Bird flu has existed for years. COVID, certificate of vaccination, identification. It was all about your passport. It was all about chipping you. And you don't even want to know what's going on with the um, vaccinations. All I will say is a lot of people are dead, including one of my grandchild. The ones that go straight up are the rockets. That is not a contrail, that is geoengineering. They will tell you that they're doing it because the world is all going to burn. Look, trust nature. I will have a medical intervention, but most of it is gonna be done based on core stability and training and nutrition. What I put in my body, including emotionally. Stop polluting the seas. 
stop putting your oil in the seas stop picking your litter and your trash stop doing horrible nasty things to children stop abusing women men seriously like uh, andy i'm gonna have a word with andy's man cave because this is not helping the men every monday they're getting four five six hundred men in but you are not leading men to be leaders of their own lives and their family you're taking them into a bloody war you're not having our men for your war for your lithium batteries there isn't enough lithium to produce your electric cars get over it and you're not having the big muscle cars do you know that you're not crushing them and you're not changing history. The past is the past and it lives in the past, but we live in a world of a lot of trauma, a lot of debris, a lot of places that need to come down, a lot of institutions, a lot of people. Just ask yourself before I go, why have the said royals not got anybody in their lives who have Down syndrome or uh, autism, being that they are the most incestual family because cousins are allowed to marry cousins, all this sort of stuff. So therefore there would be a lot of disability. They're all so perfect, aren't they? Just like a lot of the TV programs, everybody got to be perfect. How oh, perfect? Ah, I don't claim to be. So anyway, I came down here to get rid of some energy today because I would be really angry. I might even be a little bit fucking narky. And I have every right to be because they stole my children. I don't get to sit here with all of my children, my family. I don't get the barbecues, birthdays. I don't really celebrate all this stuff, but I don't get to do it for my children. I don't get to raise my daughter. And my daughter's a teenager now, and I have had to grieve my daughter since she was two years old. My son was three. Today I've had to come back from the chiropractor with a three-year-old blonde little girl walking in front of me, trying not to cry my damn eyes out. Have you people ever met a mother before? Have you? Am I a real mum? So anyway, I think you're all understanding. I'm not a socialist. I had to take the mic from these people and these people then nearly got me arrested. These people have had me gagged. These people have had smear campaigns, websites up on me. But you know what? I'm still here. Despite the suicide battles, I'm still here. And I've got two beautiful boys at home. But you know why I'm still here? Because I've got Jesus in my heart. And God keeps me going. And Mother Earth keeps me so blessed that I don't need to stress. I know people get pissed off that I don't work. I work more damn hard than any of you. Do you know that? Just because I don't get paid in the ways that you do, I don't charge for my time. I do things because it's the right thing to do. I'll pick up the litter and I put it in the bin if it's there. I'll help somebody like even the other day, some dad on his bike and his children were too far ahead and they were coming into the road. I was stood in front of them because it's the right thing to do. Communism and community are two very different things. So anyway, I love China, but Jesus loves me and nobody is making me bow the knee to say that Jesus is a prophet. Buddha was a prophet. Muhammad was a prophet. There were many prophets. But Jesus is the son of God. And he died for our sins. So that we would be able to be forgiven and move on. I was born a sinner. I was born to a teenage mother. I was born to parents that were not married. My mum and dad got married when I was three. So for those that want to know, I was born here as Kelly Ann Hill. And then I became Kelly Avis when my dad married my mum. And then when we left and I went back to my mum, I became I.E. Kelly, Kelly Ann Avis Forrester, which was my mum's name. Then I became Kelly Wilkinson. Then I became Kelly Cotton. And it is my choice right now, which I choose to be called Kelly Avis because that's my dad's name and that's the name tattooed on my dad's arm. 
my dad has every right to know that his daughter was telling the truth. And my dad knows because every day up until the age of 11, I used to stand on my dad's back to help him crack his backpack. So my dad will get it. And once my mum sees the scans, my mum's so intelligent, man, she knows law inside out. She won't leave me. She won't let you guys do this to me again because she knows if you even touch my boys, man, I won't hold a halt the adoption drive banner and I won't protect this city or this country or isolate what's going on. I will allow my anger to be utilized. So anyway, I'm really in pain right now and my hands are really hurting and my back's hurting and I've got to walk up there. I should be in a wheelchair. I'm not going to be. I will get my skates out later. I'm a walking fucking miracle. So don't point the fingers at me saying, how's she not doing that? Applaud me that I'm still going. And if you want to know the difference between people with a real condition and people with a fake one, people who are faking your system to sit in a fucking wheelchair to have a house over their roof, what's the point? I want financial freedom, man. I want to be able to go and travel the world. I just don't like having the whole world on my doorstep because it's really fucking confusing. But I do, I like it in a lot of ways. Children are not kids. They're not goats. They're children. So don't be looking at the asses of 15 year old girls. Don't be having sex with 15, 16, 17, 18 year olds. Because the law, and this is where I agree with it, states 18 but that doesn't mean that you can come in and groom someone up till 22 23 because actually nobody should be bringing children into the world until they at least identify and know themselves they have achieved what they need to do family is an extension of who and what you're about and nobody should be really planning to have children it shouldn't be about planning spirit and soul will come when it's meant to be and people are in this world to make this world a better place and we are going to make this world an amazing, great place. And we are going to put the great back in Britain. But the only way you're going to do this is to stop allowing adults to fuck children. So let's help our police get in these doors and arrest these people that are trafficking and selling child. You can sell a drug once, but you can sell a child as many times as they can. And some of them become women that are still escorts and prostitutes. One day, I'll tell you who it was that brought me out of being an escort. That's another story. Please, be kind to each other. You have no idea what somebody's going through. If you can't help, don't hinder. And all you gossips, shut your fucking mouths and go and watch EastEnders or something because this is people's real lives. My children is real exist. This is real feelings, real emotions. Recorded life.